today we're gonna drink one of the most <sighs> popular whiskeys in the world true jack daniels jack daniels old number seven. Oh, say it right put some respect on it put some respect on my name <laughs> All right, so today's video, Jack Daniels. That being said, we gotta talk about our friends over at Vintage Gentlemen because we've been using these books. Um, this is leather bound. Dan's use his though. Rich mahogany. I'm gonna get a cookie cat though. <laughs> just get this, get this cat down here. Cat ad. Dude, listen. Cat ad. Google Analytics show that 100% of the time that a cat's in the video, Analytics go up 300%. Good. So Thank you, these Ricky. books are available at vintagegentleman.com. Little leather action here. Yep. Nice. Look at this. Zoom. Zoom. I will not. Keep zooming. It's all going to be blurred Continue out. Continue zooming. You do know Thank I you. know how to put you. text over this, right? I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> so um, I'm using this book. The reason that I wanted one of these was because I want to use it for uh, cigar. Like I want to put notes in here so I can remember things. Sometimes the fish world doesn't work. Dan can't read. <laughs> but I can write, and that's all that's important. And we got a translator named Ricky in the house. So, um, yeah, but they're, these books are over on their shop, and they're super cool. Um, the paper's replaceable, so if you fill it up. You There's take, a lot of pages in these. There is, and it's all like, like it's a all lot. nice, thick paper. A lot, a lot. I was writing on it. It's cushiony, dude. Like a lot, a lot. So, pick one of these up at vintagegentleman.com. Use the code Bourbon Junkies at checkout. You get 15% off. Ooh. There are 75 of these books. Perfect for cigar tastings, whiskey tastings, pairings, writing stuff down like that. There's 75 reserved for Bourbon Junkies fam. For you guys. So 15% off code Bourbon Junkies. Thank you, Vintage Gentlemen, for and sending these. And they said these. they will sell out, so. Yeah, they've already sold out the books once. They've restocked yeah. them. So just a heads up. From two. Literally. Fine. If you want a leather book, you can write in. We gotta get out of this app. I see that. Jack Daniels, review. Number seven. Did you Go. pour it? You didn't pour no. it. No. We ran? Ran, oh, we ran We ran the intro four minutes ago. <laughs> the intro came when I said- Are you gonna hold the cat the whole time? Yeah. I'm gonna pet it. You thought I was talking about the cat. I was talking about the jack. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Night of life, probably a real good long pour. Okay. That was the worst long part I've ever well, seen. Well, I had some interference. <laughs> Cookie. Jack Daniels, old number seven, one of the most popular American whiskeys in the world. Okay. It's a Tennessee whiskey. $25. I said whiskeys. You said American whiskey though. But it, no. Tennessee whiskey. Well, because the most popular is from India. Respect. Right? Yeah, okay. This one's from America. That's a truthful say. Everything I said was accurate. Legally, sure. technically, all accurate. Tennessee whiskey, because they made their own category to be put in. Or bourbon. Cut. So. Okay, um, it's not as bad as I remember. 25 bucks, 24 something. 24.99. Cheers. Um, so relatively cheap bottle. I, I always put the same like idea of Jim Beam nuttiness into it for some odd reason. I, I just, don't know why. I just realized I do the same thing. Yeah. When I think Jack Daniels, I think super nutty. Yeah, it's now, just not. Brown, Brown Foreman, Foreman would not do us like that. I, there's a little nuttiness though. The, it's like a weird maple banana nut. You fucked up your banana bread. You put too much nuts in it. That's fair. A little bit too much. Wildly too much. No little. I mean it's banana You also, bread. you drizzled it in maple syrup. Mm. Now, mm. this uh, whiskey is very controversial. You can put it in the comment. Like, comment, subscribe to the video. You know what? We're stopping the video. Until you No more tasting notes until you like the video. And subscribe. While you're down there, you might as well just hit subscribe, you, hit the bell. Listen, the Sean thing. can put the analytic on the screen. I sort of got at least 50% of you aren't subscribed. It's over 50, it's 55% of you aren't subscribed. Stop, Thank you. help us out. We're back. Now we're back. We waited, Still with tasting cat. notes. I got he the just, cat. He just, he doesn't, I haven't even pet him yet. Just chilling. He's completely limp. <laughs> this is a super controversial whiskey. Are you finally ready to be down? Because, it's, it legally rem it legally meets all requirements of bourbon. Yep. And then they take a, some charcoal mm -hmm. and they run it on through. Yep. They mellow it through as they would call it. And then they want to be called Tennessee uh, whiskey. And technically, legally. They are. Tennessee whiskey. Now, Sorry. technically, it's also bourbon. Yep. Legally, apparently not. So, all right. 
It's weird because other people charcoal filter their whiskey and still call it bourbon. Yep. Uh, you know? You guys can be civil and civilly debate in the comments. And I'm I sure you will. When I say civil, <laughs> I can't wait. mean you're going to get booted. <laughs> Bye. Okay. It, for real, it's really sweet. It's pretty simple. It's a little thin on the nose, weirdly. Just grab your hand by accent. I don't know why. Pinky's out. All right. Uh, uh, I, I was going to say, yeah, you. it's very simple. It is very light on the nose. Like, it's not very Panther. Panther. Rich. Panther. Panther. I guess we're just doing a review with, with Cookie now. Listen, if there was going to be a Jack Daniels cat, look, he likes to show his I know. Oh, there you go. Just Good boat. Oh. Lay down. Oh, I wish you were in frame. Lay that down. was like the sexy oh. cat pose. Paint me like one of your French cats. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Gosh, this is a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Okay, so. So now we have Cookie. Don't know what to tell you. Uh, very, very light on the nose. Listen. A little, little empty. Is this like, I, it's not the hint, best bar whiskey of all time. Hint of youth. But it, it's like the most wrecking, literally every single place on the planet probably that has a bar with if liquor If you said in whiskey it, coke, you're going to get one of this. You're getting this Jim Beam or that. Yep. And this is way better than Jim Beam White Label. Yep. Not close. Now, how much does White Label cost? 15? I hope it's free. I hope they pay, pay you to take it. Or it's free, and that's the only reason you should drink it. I can tell you the problem with Jack Daniels is it's too expensive to be well, mm -hmm. right? Like $25, there's a lot of cheaper I mean, I get bourbons it. out there now. That's crushable. Or whiskeys, whatever. That's oh, like it's a, real crushable. That's like a, a bran muffin with a little banana nut going on. Like there's a little, little meatiness too about it, you know? No. No? You could have said there's breadiness to it, and I would have yeah. agreed. Okay, there's some breadiness There's no to it. meatiness. No, no, no. I, I mean, it, it's heavy. Like, it's thick. It's dense. It's not thick. With the bread. Oh, it's thin, though. With the bread. Everything you're saying is backwards from what you mean. Yeah. Because I know what you mean, yeah. but you're saying other words. It's, it's a, thick. It's thin. It's a strong breadiness. <laughs> it is. Like thick bread. It's masculine <laughs> in its meatiness. Real. Me in its breadiness. Thick bread. <laughs> Welcome to everybody who's never watched one of our videos before. This is about it, so. This is as serious as I can take a $25 bottle. I don't know what you want. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh. I've if we reviewed this. Watch you pour that shit all over this table. I, Even worse. You're not wrong. If we reviewed this though, these are both from Brown Foreman. Mm -hmm. They're both $25. Yep. One's a hunter proof, one's not. I mean, I think you poured as much of that. that was, Jack Daniels was left in your glass. I can tell you which is better because I had this last night. That! One of the greatest go-tos of all time, right? This is supposed to be a Jack Daniels review. It is. Okay. But this is one of the greatest go-tos of all time. Yeah. They're the same, they're from the same parent company, the same price. Absolutely. Now Jack Daniels, a little thin. Yeah. I honestly, everybody hates on Jack Daniels. Yeah. I can't. We, it's, it's just never gonna be my go-to no. when this exists. It's. It's not great at 25, so if you're a Jack drinker, there's a lot of stuff out there for the same price or to even cheaper. We got a video on it. That you may a love. Of, a lot of people don't like it. It's just hard to venture out when you know you like that and yeah. you know it's a safe bet. I don't know. It's it's decent at best. What would you grade it? Actual grade. 25? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I don't hate it. Okay. I get a lot of the maple notes on the C minus. palette. I went B minus. C minus. It's just, um, I don't know. I get, wait, so palette notes, maple, thin, short finish, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit of like Coke-esque notes, like a carbonated feeling on my tongue. Cola. Not so much the flavor, more the feeling. This is gonna be the first time that I go way lower than you on something cheap. You're always like, hey! Usually. Listen, I'm a cheap date. Now, I'm gonna continue Old to Force drink 100. this and we can end this video. Perfect. Buy Old Force, or, listen, same distiller. Nope, same parent company. Yeah. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. That's Cookie. And I'm Sean. Like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Patreon, Instagram, YouTube. If, I mean, if you, you don't. Uh, we live stream on Tuesdays. It's a lot of fun. Dan, would you please stop? I'm modeling. Okay, proof's in the port. Get me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has been sitting up behind the whole fucking video. Oh, good. Oh, well.